Hey guys, Nick from Security Pros. Today we're going to be covering remote viewing on mobile devices. Before proceeding with the steps found in this tutorial, we have to make sure that your NVR is connected to a router or a modem or whatever it is that you get your internet service from. The NVRs do require a hardwired connection, so be sure that that cable is in fact connected. Otherwise, this guide is not going to work for you. Okay, so now we can move forward on the setup. First thing we need to do is head to the main menu. From here, we're going to go to the network settings on the left hand side. Inside of the network tab, we want to select basic and TCP IP at the top. Make sure that DHCP is enabled. This is going to allow your NVR to communicate with your router or modem automatically. If you'd prefer to enter in your own IP address or DNS information, simply remove the checkbox and that'll give you the option to manually enter in whatever your IP address, gateway, subnet. For this tutorial, I'm just going to use DHCP since it's how most of our users are going to be connecting. Any changes that you make, make sure to apply at the bottom. Next, let's head to the P2P tab at the top. We want to make sure that P2P is enabled and that our device status says network connected. If your status says not connected or gives you any indication that it's offline, You'll want to make sure that your Ethernet cable is connected to your router or modem or whatever it is that you get your internet service from. We want to ensure that DHCP is enabled and reboot the system. 99.9% .9 of the time though, if this says not connected, it's because of a disconnected cable or perhaps a faulty Ethernet cable. So check your connections. Once we know our system is showing a network connected status, we'll want to leave this page open and we're going to change gears over to the mobile device to download the SureVision application. And now that we're on a mobile device, I'm going to head to the App Store. If you're using an Android, you would be going to the Play Store. And we're going to search for our application, and it's called SureVision. Go ahead and search for that and download it. And you can open that up when it's complete. We're going to agree to the service agreement and privacy policy. In order to take full advantage of the features of the SureVision app, we're going to want to sign up with an account. This step isn't fully necessary, but if you do plan on using mobile alerts or other advanced features in the future, you're going to want to create an account. First thing we need to do is enter a valid email address that you have access to. And once your email address has been entered, we're going to click verify. An email is going to get sent to you with a verification code, and we're going to need to enter that code here. So I'm going to go check my email, and I'm going to copy this code from my email, and I'm going to enter it back over in the SureVision app to verify. Click Next once it's entered. You'll need to create a password for your account as well, and once that's been entered, you can complete the sign up by clicking Sign Up. The SureVision app can scan your network for added devices, and you can agree to this if you'd like. We're going to tap on the three lines at the top left corner of the screen and select Devices. Tap on the Add button at the top and select Scan. The app will require access to your phone to scan the QR code on the NVR screen that we left open. I'm going to scan the code on the P2P screen of the NVR that we left open earlier in this guide. Once the device has been scanned, you can add a name for your device. You can also change the live view and playback stream quality. I like to keep these settings default here, but you're free to change them as you please. Once you click Start Live View, your cameras will appear. I only have one camera added into my NVR, so my views are likely not as exciting as yours will be. But however many cameras you have attached to the system, they will all show up here. You can double click on a camera to view it full screen. You can also select a multi-camera view mode on the images tab, and you can select a one view, four, six, nine, 12, or a 16 view. If you wanna make any changes to your SureVision app account, you can tap on the three lines at the top left corner select your account at the top, and rename your account to something more fitting.
You can also change your email or your password in this menu as well. That's it for the basic connection on your phone. Check out our other mobile app videos that'll go over some of the more advanced features of the app. If you have any questions at all, feel free to shoot us an email or give us a call.